Hello and welcome back to another episode of Internal Rambles. This is your girl Rochelle. If you are new, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you for tuning back in. Internal Rambles is a very eclectic podcast. My normal episodes releases every Thursday, 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and my bonus content releases whenever I am able to record and post them. So I talk about everything from my life, my career, entertainment topics, etc. My bonus content tends to be my reality recaps. I'm currently reviewing and recapping Married at First Sight and I am sorta kinda every few episodes recap being ready to love but also I have my unconventional book club style content read with Rochelle and some other music content that's bonus and that releases very kind of randomly and sporadically so thank you for tuning in this is the season finale of internal rambles season two finale of internal rambles so thank you for tuning in next week is a very exciting week and i will get into that i will start off this podcast with just a few announcements quick 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 so next week episode thursday will be season two's most popular episode i will be re-releasing that and then on october 15th that is my anniversary my one year anniversary of podcasting and that is a very special episode the first time internal rambles has had a guest and it is with a great friend of mine mr go the episode is called the male perspective we are talking about relationships and other things etc he's spilling a little tea on me and just giving the good straight no chaser and you do not want to miss that episode it's incredible and i will talk a little bit more about that in a little bit but you do not want to miss the anniversary episode october 15th So let's get this podcast started. I am going to start this off with my normal beginning segment, which is either Rochelle's raves, which is something that I'm positive about, I'm feeling great about, or Rochelle's rants, something that's getting on my nerves, something that's upsetting me, and I have a rave. If you may or may not know, my birthday was recently. Please check out my birthday episode. That was a grand old time. <laughs> but my my rave is just that I recently had a birthday. It was a very low-key birthday, but it was a blessed birthday. I got to spend it with my loved ones, went out to dinner with my best friend, spent time with my family, my mother and my siblings. So yeah, my raves just I had a really great birthday. <laughs> I got some great gifts and you know, other the gifts really are just the bonus. The the blessing or the positive thing is just seeing another year, being blessed to see another year and being able to spend it with people that love me and who I love and having time off from work and yeah, so that's my rave. I had a really great birthday and So I'm really blessed to have been to be able to take that time off and just chill, relax and do what I want to do and spend it with the people that I wanted to spend it with. So that is the Rochelle's rave for this podcast episode. All right, so let's get into this episode. Internal rambles really is that. It's the internal racing, rambling thoughts of your girl. And I do have some topics. I I am going to be kind of bouncing all over the place, I think. <laughs> but just kind of piggybacking off of my birthday, I went out to dinner with one of my greatest friends and my my best friend, really, honestly. I've been friends with her. We were, we were calculating it, and it's been 25 years, I think, that we've been friends. Can you believe it? Like, who, like, it's, that's a blessing, right, to be friends with someone for, for five years, 
two years, but 25 years. Like we literally have been friends. Like not no fake. I don't. I don't have the capacity to be phony, right? I don't have the social skills for it. But like that's my girl, right? Um, and she's one of those people that. <laughs> so I'm just you know at birthday dinner and it was. She took me to a place that I always wanted to go for a long time. So it was a wonderful dinner, child. And she's one of those people that she's very deep. And so, you you know, we'll just be talking about whatever and cackling Kiki. And then she'll just out the blue be like, so Rochelle, da 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 da. And I'd be like, wait, wait, what? But she, I love that about my friends that we could be talking about, you know, some ratchet some ratchet stuff but then maybe go into like politics or like I love that diversity about um my friends that we can talk about anything on the spectrum so one of the questions that she posed was and I'm single and so and she's single and she was like you know do you think you still want to get married and I it came out left field because I don't know what we were talking about and I was like well, let me think for a minute. And I really didn't have to think. Um, and it's going to piggyback on a, on a, on a, on this is going to piggyback on another topic. <laughs> and yeah, I told her, say, yeah, I do want to get married. I do. That's always been a goal of mine, even though it has not happened yet. I do want to have a life partner. Um, and someone that, we have shared, and I, I, this has come up recently. We, we have shared goals, but we have individual goals. And just someone that, as this life continues, Lord willing, we can do things together and enjoy life together and celebrate success. And should anything hit the fan, you know, we'll truck along and go through it together, ultimately. And ironically, I was on Instagram because that's really the main social media that I be on and this influencer was just it was a very unfortunate post but I understand what she was saying she was I don't I don't know I don't know much about her because I just recently started following her she was like I used to want to get married I don't want to get married anymore I just need someone to I she's like I really think I just want to have a child I'll raise a child by myself I just don't have faith in marriages anymore. And she's like, it doesn't have anything to do with like famous people. Um, Because all these divorces are coming out and I'm going to go into that. But she just doesn't have faith that marriage, like the divorce rate is so high. She's like, it would just crush her if she got married and it did not last or the man that she thought was going to whatever be the one is not the one like she just has tried for so long to find that husband that life partner she's like I don't even want to date anymore and I don't know like what she's going through or whatever but when you watch the video it's a very sad video you could see the distraught in her face and it's a very raw video it's not it didn't look like it was intention seeking. I don't know much about her. She doesn't usually uh, the the inf- the person. She doesn't usually share personal videos, so that's why I kind of feel like this was she was really having a moment. Um, and I can understand. It's like when you've been single for a long time and you've been like, yo, I'm, I really, you know, I want to find that husband, and it doesn't happen. I there are definitely women who are just like, you know what? Let me go to the sperm bank let me go to the adoption route that's a real life thing um but for me children is not a goal of mine so that's that that isn't a path that I'm going down or looking at (laughs) but I still have hopes for marriage that hasn't gone by the wayside even though I've been single for quite a long time so That was my answer to her. (laughs) Speaking of divorces, what is in the famous folks water this week? Because we have been hit with, I talked, I think my last episode about Nia Long and that debacle. They weren't married though. But we have been hit with several divorce announcements 
this week. Tia Maori, 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 is that how you say her last name? Files from divorce from her husband of 14 years, Corey Hardrick. I wouldn't have seen, I mean, I don't really follow Tia. And, I mean, obviously, I, I, I like Tia and Tamara, but I, don't, I haven't been following them in their, like, marital lives. But 14, mar 14 years of marriage, citing irreconcilable differences. And then Miguel, the singer Miguel's wife. I don't know if, I, if I'm going to say this right. Nazanin Mandy filed for divorce after three years of marriage, but they've been together for 17 years. Now, they were separated um, in 2021, but nothing happened. They got back together, and now she's filing for her divorce. Um, so there's that. And then we hear that... Tom Brady and his wife are talking to divorce lawyers like <laughs> I mean you hear this the saying that death comes in threes I didn't I've never heard of the saying divorce comes in threes that's not a thing um <laughs> but you know it's really unfortunate especially these people that have been together for years 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 and, and we all know we've heard I mean for a long time about the high divorce rates. You don't have to be famous to, to get divorced. Uh, but it's just unfortunate. And no one sets out to get married with the thought process of, oh, but you know, in a few years I may get divorced. I mean, I hope that's not what you are thinking when you're at that altar or wherever you get married. So I think it's just really unfortunate and you know, all the best to those involved. It's just you, when you you hope for the best and you hope for longevity with these relationships, you never know what's happening behind closed doors. That's why I never, when I see relationships in the public eye, I, I never be like, oh, that's relationship goals. Child, you never know what's happening behind closed doors. If nothing, we should all know that by now. Um, but again, I whatever's in the news entertainment news or whatever or even whatever's around me i don't let that currently that has not um jaded my thought on marriage i still want to get married someday hopefully okay switching gears so and reverting back to initial topic this is the season two finale of Internal Rambles. Internal Rambles is turning one years old on October 15th. It still feels a bit surreal that I have been podcasting for almost a year. It has flown by, but I will say it has been hard work just to make sure that every week, at least on Thursdays, I have a new podcast <laughs> unless it has been like a planned re-release or whatever or if I have a planned pre-recorded episode which only happened once maybe twice and there have been I'm telling you some days where I've been in, in the middle of the night I'm like okay I got a couple hours to get this done I mean it has definitely been a labor of love but I have enjoyed it I have learned I'm still learning and I had some goals for season two I met some of them just kind of content wise what I wanted to see for for season two and I met a couple of those goals for season three I don't know if I have fleshed out goals for season three yet um I think I'm still trying to wrap my head around the fact that I've been podcasting for a year. <laughs> the ultimate goal is just always wanting to increase. Well, okay. That's not fully true. I, there are some goals. There's some things that I've kind of been mulling around my head, but um, I haven't. I, I definitely had more goals for season two than I, I haven't really totally thought out my goals for season three um but always the goal is just increase listenership so i have been saying 
listen, tell your friends, your family, your cousins, your brother, your auntie, your uncle. Spread the word. Give me a review on Apple Podcasts. Interact with me on YouTube. I would love to see some comments over there, especially once uh, Read with Rochelle starts going. But anything that I post on there, please interact with me. You can also reach me at internalrambles at yahoo.com if you ever have a topic idea or a question you want me to answer. A relationship question. I would love to do that and have that be a segment. Um, I'm going to get into a little bit of... I don't know if I can get into it now because I, I haven't... I need my anniversary episode to come to fruition um, and to release and then I can get into it. But there's going to be some things happening in season three that then I can be like, okay, so when, you know, but I can't announce it just yet. <laughs> and I know y'all probably tired of me like, okay, but no, that anniversary episode is, is awesome. So things to come in season three for sure. Um, but yeah, it's been a learning process because even my anniversary episode, I was nervous about it because it's something I had never done. And it, it was, I mentioned that I edited it. The content is not edited, but because I had a guest, I had never, I had to edit my audio with the guest audio. And then just, I always have back, like it was just, it was a lot of audio to combine together, but the content itself is not edited. It, I'm going to have to like <laughs> make it an explicit, I, there's not cursing in it, but there is some adult content in it. So it will be in a, an adult episode. Um, but the content itself, I don't, I don't know how to like really edit, truly edit and like take out things in it. I, sometimes I've been able to do it, but I'm, I'm not savvy in that yet. So the content is real uncut. It, it, that part is not. When I said edit it, it was just really getting all of the audio together in one file to release. <laughs> so yes, um, for season three, the goal is to continue to have guests. I have one additional guest already potentially lined up. Um, so I'm excited about that. And then, um, yeah, just continuing to have exciting, different content because I'm random and I'm interested in a lot of things. So the one thing I will say is this, and this is, this is an announcement and this is, I I have to do this in, in, uh, moving forward. I have been my reality recaps a lot of times, or I don't even know, I have been reviewing two shows at a time, but they, it's been challenging to keep up with that. So moving forward, I will finish out Ready to Love. Like I said, I will just do a recap of the rest of the season, but I, it, I'm, I'm spreading myself too thin trying to keep up with two reality shows plus my main content and all of the other bonus random things that I'm doing so I don't know what that may mean married at first sight I think was was that the first one I ever I'm not sure if that's the first one that I ever reviewed but it's been my main one and it's been the most popular one that people really tune in to um, so I have to figure out, do I want to just stick to the one that people really seem to want to hear about? Do I want to branch off to other things? I, I really don't know. And it, it really depends on when shows end and what's happening new, etc. I would like to review different shows because there's one show that I've been really wanting to review, but I'm always in the middle of another show or shows. But moving forward, my reality recaps will just be one show at a time. That is definitely a decision that I have made because I can't keep up. <laughs> but yeah, that I will say moving forward, season three, look forward to guests, guests, guests. And just continue with the content read with Rochelle, which I'm going to talk about next. And then... um 
just continuing to grow my content and I really want this to be interactive. So if you have anything you want me to cover, questions, send them in to internalrambles at yahoo.com. That right now is all that I have in regards to what I plan for season three. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay, moving on to Read with Rochelle. This is just going to be super brief. And I'm just checking in and seeing how you all are doing. This is no spoiler alert, but the new segment I started in season two is an unconventional book club type of a thing every few months we will be reading one book so one book will be chosen we'll take two to three months to read it and then we'll discuss it so yeah usually a book club it's like one book club per month but for me I can't keep up with that so uh, I don't think I'm the only I, I think it's challenging sometimes especially if you're busy or whatever you got going on in your life it's difficult sometimes to read and that, that's been my if you're like me that's my story so we are currently reading Anxious People by Frederick Beckman so I'm not as far along as I would like to be but I will be done trust me by December 8th that is when we are discussing so please i release my audio on youtube sometimes so my normal content so on thursday it will release at 8 a.m everywhere that you get your podcast content pretty much but on youtube sometimes there's a little bit of a delay so sometimes it may be a, an hour later a few hours later but sometime on thursday it will get up on youtube so i would love to know how are you doing are you liking the book is it something that you would typically read? Are you not happy with the book? Are you like, girl, what kind of book is this? What were you thinking? <laughs> Let me know. I would love to know what you're thinking. Please leave me a comment on YouTube. What I will say is I, I, if you, I have a post on Read With A Show and why I picked this book. I didn't know what to think about it. I, one of the things that I was surprised about was just how funny the book was. Um... So that's what's keep get me reading until I stop. Like, it's been hard for me to stay reading. But it's a really interesting book. And so I'm just, I'm really, I have to get back to reading it a bit further. But I would like to know your thoughts. No spoiler alerts. So I'm not, I'm just checking in. We can do this. We're going to finish this book. This is just me being motivating. We're going to get this book done by December 8th. And we're going to talk about it. And we're going to, this book is good. I will say this. Um, it's funny. It's, it's just, it's a different type of a book. And I like that. I like that. I picked a book just randomly and I'm like, oh, okay. And like I said, Netflix made it into like a show or something. Like it's a New York Times bestseller. So, um, yeah, it's a really good book. So just, this is just me saying, listen, if you picked it up, you only read a few pages. It's okay, child. I know what it's like. But keep going. We got this. And we're going to get this book done by December 8th. And we're going to talk about it and keep moving forward. That being said, again, like I, I have mentioned, I have not decided. So the next book will start in January. I don't have a book for there. I haven't even thought about it. <laughs> um. So if you have any book ideas something you've read or you no, not something that you've read I'm sorry something that you've seen and you're interested in and you think it'd be a great book to read please let me know because I I haven't even I haven't really thought much about what the next book is I'm like I gotta get through the first book <laughs> um but I do have books that I haven't read and that I could you know but no I don't want to do that and I would love to get an audience recommendation so email me at at internal rambles at yahoo.com and if you have any suggestions let your girl know okay so i'm winding down this episode this is going to be a hodgepodge maybe even fruit salad no it's not gonna be fruit salad but just my thoughts because i mentioned that i tend to get really pensive around my birthday and i really didn't do that this year i don't know what that means um I actually I do I will tell you what that means 
I have been really, um, I haven't really been able, and I don't know why this is, to settle my brain down for the last week. My, like, internal rambles, I have just been, my mind has just been racing, racing, racing. And everything is okay for the most part. I've got, I've, you know, I've been busy, but I really just have been all over the place. And that's okay. I get like that, but I just really, like, have to tell myself to just like take a break Rochelle chill um (laughs) um so I haven't done my like goal list for this year but that's that's not abnormal sometimes it takes me a bit um but I I haven't gotten pensive and you know I I I've had moments of reflection but I really haven't done like I like this really deep like, oh, you remember when, and then you, this, I, I didn't go through that this year, and I don't know what that means, it, I, I don't, I'm not gonna look into it either, um, but what I will say is this, um, I, I feel like I'm at a good place, I'm not at a great place, and my, like, the same best friend, she always, you know, she's like, do you feel happy? I don't believe in perpetual states of happiness. I don't think that that's, because I don't believe in perfection. I think that's perfection. I think I'm content. I think I have a lot of moments of contentment. I am not happy. I don't, I have moments of happiness. I have areas in my life that I'm very discontent with. But I'm not discontent, <laughs> if that makes sense. I'm okay. Um, I could do better in life, but I don't beat myself up. I'm blessed. I've been through a lot. I, at the end of the day, when you when you've gone through a lot in life, and you've endured, and but you persevered. You and but when you know that you're also one that people lean on and you know I've had a lot on my plate but I'm I'm okay like I'm 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 okay today and I have days where I'm not okay and I have moments where I'm not okay and I've I've had like September I had like I mentioned in my previous podcast I had like some really random just like what you know but we I got through it so um I preach this all the time take care of yourself and if you can take care of others you can't take care of other people if you're not taking care of yourself now do people take care of other people and not take care of themselves at the at their at the expense of their self sure but don't do that because you matter you have to take care of you and I know that there's been times where I've done things you know and I've suffered for that and so I don't want to do that today I'm too old. I don't have the patience. Uh, You know, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And I find ways to redirect myself and just have moments of peace, whatever that may be. If I'm at work and I got to turn that gospel playlist on. I remember years ago, I had a coworker who... I, I don't know what was going on, but she was like, Rochelle, just turn on your, your gospel. You'll make it through the shift. She used to remind me of that. I was like, yep, because I just couldn't. I was like, I can't. I'm about to turn. I'm about to cuss somebody. You know, just to, And that used to help me, just that reminder. But now I can remind myself, you know, I need a little peace in the background to get me through. Um... <laughs> But yeah, I'm okay. And I don't know what, what I want. I, you know, uh, there are goals there that have been there, but I just got to take my time and just sit down with self, um, and figure and, and identify what I, what I would like to strive for, for the next year. Um, but that's one thing that I know that some people can't sit with self and they have to, they're not content unless they're with a lot of people. And, you know, that's, un- I think that's unfortunate because y- you can't predict that you're going to always be around people. But also when you always have to be around people, sometimes you be around the wrong people, you know, and I'm always one to cut around, cut off folk. 
And so I didn't damn thankful for the ones that are around me because like I said, like when you have a friend for 25 years, 17 years, 10, you know, um, and just people who are close to you that you've known for five, six years, that you pick up that phone they be in, that you can talk to them or they can help you or if you need anything, hey, how do I go? Oh, okay, you know, that says, that speaks volume. And at the end of the day, I was reading something at, and I don't know where, at probably Instagram, I'm always on Instagram. You know, about loyalty and trustworthiness, it speaks volumes about not only who you are, but also who is in your circle. So take care of yourself. You know, I, I'm not ending this. I got a little more, but it's it's important. And um, I feel content right now and in this moment as I'm podcasting and I have my moments, but everyone does. But self-care is, is truly, truly, truly important. I'm looking forward to, you know, I can't wait till October 15th. Y'all hear this episode. Y'all got to hear this episode. <laughs> I, I haven't listened to it in about in a little bit, but I've listened to it multiple times. It's great. And I'm just thankful that my, my great friend was, because you can't, the thing about it is when you are doing something, you know, whether it's entrepreneurial or whatever, or some endeavor, it's not a given that the people that are in your life are going to support you. So he didn't have to be a guest on my podcast, but he didn't hesitate to say, oh yeah, I'll do it. So I'm, I'm really thankful for that and I'm looking forward to that. And so, yeah, let's get into the song of the podcast for this season two finale. Can you believe it? Of Internal Rambles. Okay, so the song on the podcast. Sorry, I'm about to play this music and I don't need to be flagged for that. <laughs> did you know the Isley Brothers released a new album? Yes, they did. The OG Legends themselves released the album on September 30th, <clears throat> 2022. And the album features Beyonce, Earth, Wind, and Fire, Wick Ross. I mean, I don't even, I could look it up. Um, Elder Barge is on it too. Um, they have been around, I believe, since the 70s. They have released multiple, multiple albums. And they are still alive, kicking and singing them songs. They are just doing the darn thing still sounding great ron isley is still sounding amazing the song of the podcast features one of my favorite 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 hip-hop artists two chains <laughs> and it is called the plug and it sounds really good so that is the song of the album uh, song of the album <laughs> song of the podcast the Isley Brothers featuring 2 Chains, The Plug. And I want to look up how old Ron Isley is. I know he's in his 80s. Um, and he's still out here pushing out that R&B music. He is 81 years old. Bless his heart. All the best to them. So that is the song of the podcast. Listen. As we are winding down season two of Internal Rambles, a year almost of podcasting, thank you so much. I appreciate all of you. Subscribe to me wherever you get your content, whether it's Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, Spotify. Also, I release my audio on YouTube. Please go over there. Let me know what you're thinking are you reading with Rochelle what are your thoughts on the book no spoilers though are you liking it interact with me over there on YouTube or email me at internal rambles at you yahoo.com internal rambles at yahoo.com and thank you for everything I do appreciate it all and do not forget the anniversary episode the male perspective october 15th with geo and next week next week's episode which will be october 13th will be season two's most downloaded or listened to popular episode and as i always say take care of yourself and if you are able to take care of each other and until 
I talk to y'all again. This is your girl, Rochelle.